I did some research uh, what motor controllers are best for uh, controlling these uh, hoverboard brushless DC motors. Luckily I found a video about a presentation, a talk from the Chaos Communication Club and they reverse engineered completely the firmware for these uh, original motor controller boards and they created an own firmware. I will put the, the link of the GitHub repository into the description. And yeah, so you can use this motor controller and the two motors. You can flash your own firmware in it and I really want to try this. This sounds really, really cool. Also I found some instructions how to place bigger wheels on these tires. So we'll also try this. There are some YouTube videos. Uh, we'll also put the, the links in the description. And yeah, now we'll have to ask my kids what What's the next thing that I should convert? We have uh, another a bobby car or uh, another small tractor. Yeah, so to test everything, um, I will now completely disassemble the electronics and also the hardware because hopefully I can use uh, this mount for the wheels. So then I don't have to design my own. So let's disassemble it completely. Today the ST-Link uh, programmer arrived and now we'll install the programming header on the motherboard. So I guess I will remove all the screws of the FETs and solder it right here into place. So let's do this. Now here you see the, the main power, there are six FETs, so I guess there are two for each phase of each motor. So there is the header. On the top is the 3.3 volt SVD clock. So SVD clock is here on the programmer. The clock is orange. Then SVD IO. Ah, oh, then it's ground, okay. Then is the IO. The tutorial says not to connect the uh, 
3.3 volts if you power the board externally so I will set my power supply to 36 volts spark here okay The first step is to unlock the flash and to erase it. I'm using the, the Linux option. Okay, let's plug it into the computer. Open OCD. So let's try this. Init mode failed, unable to connect to target. Oh, maybe I must power it on. Ah. Oh, it says SDM 32X unlocked. Okay, let's power cycle it. Okay. It, I think it worked. Compiling and flashing the firmware. Yesterday I already compiled the firmware. Okay. Just type in make flash. I'm powered, everything is ready. Let's see what happens. Woo! Nice. Then I will power it down. Disconnect the programming header. And now we can try it out. I compiled the variant Hoover car. Therefore, I need two potentiometers one for brake, one for throttle. I will then use pedals. I bought a bunch of four pin connectors, so yes, they fit nicely. Oh, this is great. The colors are completely reversed. That's not good. I cannot use the red because the red has here uh, 15 volts and if I use this red I will destroy the ADC inputs. So I have to take the five volts out of the programming header. So the second and the third, okay, the blue. Blue one is the brake, the green one is throttle. to the upper tether here. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. What will happen? Plug it in, press the power button. What does this mean?
No, I was in reverse mode. Okay, it works somehow. Let's shut it off for now. And play a little bit with the firmware and software and see what we can build out of this. Very nice.